Okay, welcome back to the Forensics Detailing Channel. A very important video today. We're going to be exploring the implications of how you prepare a panel for a ceramic coating and talk about how that's going to affect the durability and we're going to test how it affects the durability. So first of all, we have a test panel that's been clayed. It's been polished using Shoal S20 on a uh, Devault DA with a uh, purple shell concepts pad and you can see the polish residue is still on the panel okay so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to wipe that polish off with a clean cloth okay we're just going to wipe it off so this could be a live video it's not going to be too much uh, thrills and spills in terms of production so let's just wipe off the polish in place just give it a really good buff down just bear with me okay we're going to talk about something that's quite important so that is buffed off all the panel residues are off of that panel okay uh, all the polish, you know, the thick polish residue. It's been buffed off that panel. So, John, should we now go on with our ceramic coating because we have a polished, nice panel on a car? Now, when you polish a car, it's a bit like laying a, a bit like laying a wax out on the car. The polish is full of kind of carrier materials in it, and you spread it all over there, and it's getting a bit of heat in there as you're working it. And the carrier, which can be solvent-based or water-based or an emulsion or bits of both, gets hot. Some of it vaporizes. But essentially, you're leaving behind polish on the panel, even after you've wiped it. So if we got water, for example, we can do this. We'll just do it over here. And we sprout on the panel. You can see um, there's a hydrophobic effect, you know helped by the atomizing it's not mega beady but there's it's there's a hydrophobic effect from the carrier of the polish so the theory is if you go and put a ceramic coating on this all of these oils that are left behind on the panel are going to interfere with the coating and how it bonds to the panel how it hardens and forms its film and affect durability so most coatings will say, after you've polished the car, go down and give the car a panel prep, you know, a panel wipe down, a panel wipe, that's the word. <laughs> now, some coatings say that after you've polished, you should fully degrease with um, hot water and uh, a detergent, you know. And then after you've done that, so you can wash the car again after you've, you've coated it, wash it very carefully you would then dry it off panel wipe it and then you'd have the ultimate prep for a coating so what we're going to do in this video is section this panel off here and on this section we're going to put the coating straight on top of just the freshly buffed dry buffed polish on this section here we're going to panel wipe okay just panel wipe the, the surface down once it's sectioned off on this section here we're going to wash it with a hot detergent and dish soap, which I've got here. Good amount of dish soap, nice and hot. And then on this section, and then after we wash it with dish soap, we'll dry it and then we'll panel wipe it, okay? So we're doing proper prep. I thought about just using dish soap and panel wipe, but I'm not, I'm interested in the difference between that full prep and half prep. You should probably always use that panel wipe. So we're gonna wash panel wipe. On this section here, we're gonna wash panel wipe and then we're going to go over it again with a ceramic primer polish. 
okay? So we, we'll just wash and panel wipe as a precaution. So we, in theory, we're doing the most thing. And then we'll go on with the panel wipe. We'll wipe, the, we'll go on with the primer. Wipe the primer off, wait an hour, and then hit it with the panel wipe, Gion Prep, which you can do after an hour, and then you can coat. And then we'll coat all sections of this test panel, okay? And we'll use, I've got half a bottle of Gion Moss. I won't need anywhere near that. Just, I'll just use a tiny amount. Okay, so let's go on and do that and carry on talking about what we're doing while we're doing it. So let's just section off first. And this is a really interesting, let's just zoom in a bit so you can see a little bit more. This is a really interesting thing because, because I'm, I want to know if there's a big difference because that is just how I like to work. I like to just see for myself, see for myself what the difference is and learn how to do it properly and, you know, do it all that way. So that's four sections and they, those are definitely all polished. So one, two, three, four. So we're good. I just need to think about this here. So if I do, no shirt. Okay. I'm just going to create an edge so I don't cross contaminate when I wash. The Mac are doing this. Definitely got the Mac are doing this. The Mac to it. the crack lip so I don't the water doesn't go on to that bit so that's good there's my lip okay so step one let's get a clean cloth let's get a clean cloth we'll use one of we'll use one of mine so this is a washed microfiber that shouldn't have been used for ceramic coatings before so that's adequate uh, yeah, that'll do, yeah. So, let's follow the instructions of the panel wipe. Now, you could replace and probably use um, IPA panel wipe or water-based, you know, panel wipe from a brand. I'm using this just because it's, I know it's, for, it's safe with use of primer. So, I know it's designed to be used with primer. And it's a panel wipe, so it should be good. I just want to follow the directions. Shake well, simply spray the, onto the paint and wipe the surface. Right, great. So we can do that, even, I can, even an idiot like me can follow those instructions. I just don't want to cross contaminate. Um, so bare panel, panel wipe, wash. Ah, yeah, I need to seal that up as well, don't I? So let's, anyway, yeah, okay, let's do it properly. Come on, John, come on, John. Just bear with me, guys. You know, you don't get, you might get the reduction here. You get the interesting thing. What I want you to do is put in the comments what you think the difference is going to be and which, what you do, because this is an interesting subject. Because I think 99% of people are putting coatings down and polishing and then panel wiping. Just because traditionally what I've done, because the fear is that washing the car after you polish it, well, it's another step, you know, you're trying to get it done and you might sort of uh, mar the paint, especially until being perfected and you're sort of like, oh, I'm happy with it. The idea of washing it again is like, oof, oof. But here's the reason I'm interested in this. If you use the analogy that I've probably spoken about before on the channel, the analogy that you've got a, a plate and it's you had a roast dinner and it's got grease that's all dried on it and you've got a thick layer of grease. If you sprayed a panel wipe on that, it wouldn't melt off all the grease. It's really good at getting the trace elements of grease off, isn't it? Where there's not a lot, you know, where the, where the plate almost looks clean and then you do that final panel wipe on it. But if you stuck that plate in, in a hot, in a sink full of hot water and detergent, it sits in there. It melts, it just melts and degreases. The, the surfactant works and it degreases that and you take it out and you wipe it with the cloth and it's really squeaky clean. So you take it out, wipe it with the cloth, then panel wipe it, <laughs> then it'd be really squeaky clean. So you get the idea. So I, that it makes sense in my head that this, 
this wash with hot water and you know dish soap which dish soap you know it's free rinsing so you know dish soap we all know it can be used on a car some people are like oh you mustn't do that you mustn't do that we know it's safe it's just probably not as effective or suitable as a good car shampoo and it's not as cheap as a good car shampoo or well, not the ones i recommend so this isn't about dish soap so much so let's just panel wipe this section so we spray on let's form a good film of it so i can see it i can smell it so it's, i've wetted out that surface now I'm just going to leave that on there. I'll just spritz a bit more on, my, on this side of the microfiber towel. We know we panel wiped well, you know, this section. Okay, so simply spray on and wipe off. So I flip to a dry side, buff this to a shine. Okay, and that will do. We've got no overspray there. So that cloth, we don't want to use again. Now, let's go in with another clean cloth here. What I'm going to do is dunk that in here. Let's, hmm, one end. <laughs> one end. That'll do. So we've got loads of water, loads of hot soapy water. It's all mixed up. You see it's quite, quite a good amount of dish soap. So we should have a bit of suds, sudsing going on. And let's get that hot water and dish soap onto that panel. Okay, and we're gonna get it onto this bit as well. To the right of that line we're not really interested in. We'll just work that. Like we're washing a car basically with shampoo. So in theory, that should all be nice and washed. Now we want to rinse, don't we? So now we need another cloth. I'm gonna go through a lot of cloths here. And we want to sort of rinse this off. So how am I gonna do this? I'm just thinning it out with some water. I suppose you'd really say you wanna get a hose and just pressure it off. But that's going to put water everywhere. So let's just sweep this off. And I want to get that bone dry and then panel wipe both of those. So I'm just going to flip this. dry get another cloth <laughs> another cloth get our geon panel wipe spray it on so it's all been shaken but not stirred so we've got loads of panel wipe there i think we're done with that panel wipe now no, we're not actually, are we? So let's just work the film with the panel wipe, show that you can see. Make sure we've got a nice wetted surface out with the panel wipe, which is done. And it really says to wipe that off straight away. So that's, that's that panel wipe is blatting down all of the final remnants of grease. That does feel lovely, actually. It feels lovely. It feels a, a lovely. So that's all been panel wiped and degreased. I've, I've got an idea for another video as well, but we'll just save that. So you can see, so look at that. I wonder what this is like. Yeah, okay, there's a, big, there's a bit of a difference, yeah. Bit of a difference. It should be. Let's just dry that off. Okay. Right. 
So in theory, okay, I'm just gonna pause there. Okay, so in theory, we should have four panels, buffed, panel wiped, washed and panel wiped, washed and panel wiped. Okay, and now what we'll do is we'll take a, any anyone, this will do. Uh, no, actually, let's go over the orange. Just get a little bit more purchase. So we'll peel this off. I can't even put it on straight with one end. And we're going to do this. Guess. Guess. <laughs> Boom. There's a guess. No, oh, that's awful. Hold on, I need to. Oh, for God's sake. That'll do. Right, then what we'll do. Shake the hell out of the primer. So this, if you're new to detailing, is a ceramic coating primer. So it's a polish that you don't have to panel wipe. So it's a polish, you know, a very fine finishing polish that um, you don't use a lot of it, that's compatible. The resin or the material it leaves behind is compatible with the ceramic coating. The caveat is you either buff, so you work it in, you know, do, do follow the instructions and then buff it and wait 24 hours or work it in um buff it wait an hour and then geon prep it so we're gonna wait an hour because that's quicker than waiting 24. so let's just dab this out just work this on a nice slow i'll just spread it okay this pan is probably gonna fly in. Okay, so I just, I just crank the speed up to, it goes up to 5,500. I'm just gonna to go to 2,500, sort of medium-ish speed, and just do two slow passes. Grab another clean cloth. Pol polish residue on this is very fine, very nice to buff. It's lovely actually, it feels so good. It's like fresh, slidey, smooth plastic. It's just really nice. So we know we've got loads of material on that primed section now. Okay. We've got polish. I've got polish under the tape. No, we've dry buffed before, so we should have just polish residue under the tape. Under the tape is irrelevant. So what we need to do now is wait one hour, and that will also give a chance for any panel wipe residues to vaporize away. So one hour is a good thing. That's a different subject matter, though, isn't it? But when, and then we'll come back and we'll coat. So see you in a second. Okay, so in the blink of an eye, we're back. Um, now I've coated two regions, I'm going to coat the third, so that's been coated, buffed, 30 seconds after application, we've got good conditions today, coated, buffed, we're going to coat that now, buff, then we're going to panel wipe that and buff, or we'll prep it if you like, um, I should put some gloves on but I'm just going to be careful okay, so let's just give this a little shake, it's been shaking, been shaking but that's stirred. Try not get your glove up when you're using coatings, guys. You don't want your skin absorbing this material. Um, you know, so let's just get this coating on. You can see the film there, yeah? So just make sure we get good coverage over the entire section. I don't care if I don't 
the edges aren't perfect. But there, the coating's on, right? So now I'm going to count to 30 seconds. One, two, uh, 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 three, uh, 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 four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, uh, 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 twenty-four. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, uh, 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 24, don't do humour, 26, 27, I know I skipped one, 28, 29, 30, close enough. Right, so we're going to buff off this coating residue now, just get the edge. Just buff it to a shine, so there's no, hopefully no high spots on the middle bits, you know, we just want to, you always get a little bit of a high spot around where that tape is and it mixes. But that's essentially a shiny panel, so we'll fold this the other way. So we've got a clean section there. Just remember, bottom section. Take our geon prep and another cloth. Oh, 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 oh. Right, another clean cloth. Well, it's going to take our geon prep over to the primer, and we're just going to spray away from the coating. We'll just wet out that surface. All right, get a, a wet film of Gion prep over that panel. You can see it there, yeah? So as long as we form a film of it. It's a nice wet film. And then we'll just buff it like it says in the instructions. So that's working. And then we're mopping it up with the dry side. So in theory now, in theory, we should be able to apply the coating, put that to one side, <laughs> using too many towels. Uh, let's put that away. So that whatever's left there, you know, sometimes with hydrocarbon panel wipes, you need to give them a bit of time, you know, to get off the panel, but the water-based one, if you buff it dry, you know, sometimes you can see a little bit of the alcohol solvent after you've wiped it and then you wait for it to flash off, but this is buff dry. Um, what's that there? Don't know what that is. That's probably the overspray, isn't it? We're not worried about that. We're not coating on that bit. So we want to use the bottom edge of that to buff. Give that a little shaky. Lid off. A little bit of coating. Plenty of coating. Um, I mean, let's just work that coating on. So again, you can see the coating, yeah? So we, the whole, the main thing is to get coating over that whole panel. Yeah. So it's all there. It's all coated. Not worried about where the writing is. Right, we've got to count to 30 again. Oh, for God's sakes. Make sure I get the right side, so it's that side that's not been used. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, oh, slow down, John. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. can see it's sweating a little bit. 17, see there? 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. I'll probably count it a little bit quicker there, but there we go. Let's buff it. It's good enough. So buff, get the edges. Buff it to a shine. Lots of padding here, so I'm not buffing mega hard it should just you're leaving what's bonded basically when you do that and you need to buff that off so good application good application not a perfect panel by the way it's a junkyard thing you know but it's okay it's good good enough and it looks good on camera so that put over there because that's a coating and that we'll throw those in the bin i'll give them to the missus
So now what we can do is we can take these off because if we leave this tape on, it will stick so we can see the tape lines. I'll always be able to see the tape lines. There'll be different water behavior on the tape lines. So. So what we're going to do now, leave that panel for 28, uh, 28, 24 hours to get the full cure. Then I'll leave it outside for a week. And then after that, I'm going to leave that panel out, outside under that tree. So it gets dirt sprinkled on it from the tree, gets bird crap on it. And I'm going to wash, whenever I wash my car, I'll use a, I always use a mild shampoo, you know, with it's like Gion Bath. Uh, bathe or uh, built hamber auto wash. Uh, I've got a turtle wax one kicking around. I've got the car chem one. So it will always be a mild shampoo. I'll just, they're all suitable for ceramic. They're not a wash and wax and they're not a, like a strong thing that's going to do it. But the key thing is whatever I do, do it to the, do it to the whole panel. So it's the same process and just wash that panel with a mild shampoo and a wash mitt um, and then leave it outside until I can see any differences. I, I suspect it's going to need three month, uh, three to six months, maybe, yeah, before I can see any differences. But what I think I should see, let's just pan out, is I think I should see this section here. The coating should degrade quicker because it hasn't bonded. So, you know, it's like <laughs> it's hard to imagine what's going on. But you've got like a micron of film formed over here, and that film sits on top of it and as you wash it you're abrading against it um if it hasn't bonded as well that coating's going to come away and erode away quicker perhaps um here perhaps the panel wipe won't last as long as the hot water wash and you know dry and then panel wipe but perhaps the primer will be the best because it's a ceramic primer and it's supposed to put down the you know really good base for the coating to bond and do its thing. So which one is going to last the most? Um, I'm interested, put in the comments what you think. I'm thinking there might not be too much difference between these three, that it might not make any difference, who knows? But I'm expecting that to make a difference. Um, but I'm really interested to see if there is a difference particular yeah with all of them i'm interested with all of them actually I was gonna say, i'm really interested in this one but i'm also really interested if it's worth using the primer um, i like using the primer just to finish out but it'd be a real nice feather in the cap if this one exhibits the best durability um because then it'd be like wow the primer is really worth using but the reason i like using the primer is the fact that i don't have to do really any of this potentially especially with my garage environment, so I can just finish out the car, buff it, wait a day, then come back and coat it, and I haven't got to touch it. The waiting a day is a pain. If you're going to panel wipe after an hour, if you're going to panel wipe with Gion Prep after an hour, you could say, well, I might as well just use a finishing polish and panel wipe, you know. But then this will show us the difference. This will show us the difference. The primer is a very mild abrasive. Like, for example... M3 or M2, if you want to cut out a little bit more swirls, you'll get more digging done with the M2 than you will with the primer. I, mean, I don't think you'll notice the difference in the finish. I, don't, I haven't tested that. But, you know, it was still that's still an out-and-out -out finishing polish. So the key thing with these finishing polishes is you can almost get away, if you're rushing, with skimping on the finishing. Because in layman's, you're not... If you've got a really good polish that you've used to do your cutting, like even H8 or a low cut F5 or something, they can gloss up really nicely. But when you've got really good lighting, and on black paint, if you do skimp on the finishing, sometimes you can spot where you've skimped, and it's and that's not a nice feeling. So really, if you're doing two stage, you probably need to cut. You know, I'm waffling here, but you need to cut 
methodically and you also need to finish methodically as well unfortunately um, you can do it quickly it depends what you're after really isn't it but you know it's about um, how much time you've got most of the time how time you can spend so long doing this to get just to boost your results up by little bits you know but I suppose that's you could argue what's that's what detailing is all about the, the longer I do it the quicker I want it to be the quicker like quick really 99% of all polishing of cars is all done in one day really and then probably there's well maybe not 99% but a massive chunk of it and then there's a few hardcore warriors doing polishing over multiple days perhaps higher end stuff but I'm hoping this is going to be a really useful video um, for the people that are really interested in detailing this these types of videos are really for people into it um, that really want to know these things perhaps even professionals would be interested in the results of this one but guys at home that really are looking at all this sort of stuff and thinking about it and wanting to do it correctly then this video is for you the only problem is we've got to wait six months for the results sorry guys um, so I will do a video in six months time or if I can if I can separate them before that, I'll do it earlier. If I can't, I'll just film whatever we get, even if they're all very similar, and that's the results, that's the results. Because after six months of being outside, if we haven't seen a difference by then, we can assume that the bond on the dry buff over here is still good. You know, I don't think it's gonna be that sensitive that it's gonna make like a 5% difference so if we would have to test this for three or four years and it would be tiny differences, no. The panel is going to lose hydrophobicity when it's outside because it's going to get dirty. It's like, it's like a patio block, yeah? If I pressure wash that patio block off there, that lid, all the stones over the lid, and they get it all orangey and fresh terracotta, okay? You know, whatever it is. And I put a plank of... Uh, wood over it or cover it with a sheet of metal or something and I take that off six months later it's still clean and terracotta if I leave it outside it goes it goes dirty and dark again because dirt is getting onto it you know things are falling onto it even if it's a panel in the corner where I don't walk on it it just the rain the dirt the stuff falling out the tree over winter it just gets dirty and it's the same with a car panel it will get rain on it, full of mineral deposits, you know. It will get um, dirt, it will get dust falling on it, it will get Sahara dust, it will get sap off of the tree, it will get everything out in the environment. So it would be a good test, actually. You could put it on a car and do it, but then, yeah, I mean, you could put it on a car and do it, but I don't want to. That's why I got these test panels. It's as good. It's, it's good. It's good. As long as see the the opposite of what we could do is start hitting them with detergents like we normally do, and see if we can strip it. But I don't think you're testing the bond so much with that. I just don't know. So I wanted to do a more of a real world test with it. So there we go. If you're new to the channel and you've still made it to this point, there's something in your brain that likes this stuff, and you're one of the lunatics. So do not forget to join me on my odyssey of exploring detailing by hitting that subscribe button on the quite possibly you know <laughs> it is what it is anyway forensic detailing over and out see you in six months or you'll see me in other videos bye